Hello and welcome everybody to my Xen Mobile 10 Netscale Integration Workshop. A short introduction on how to integrate Netscaler and Xen Mobile 10 mobile application management as well as mobile device management uh, by using the wizard in the newest and last build. There is no part one of this in English available as the product documentation from Citrix is already very good explaining on how to configure the virtual appliance of Xen Mobile 10 regarding to certificates, IP addresses and stuff like this. Okay, so let's start here now with our wizard on Netscaler. We're using Xen Mobile 10, so just click Get Started. First of all, it asks us, do we want Netscaler Gateway and Xen Mobile Server? Yes, we want. And for this, we need an IP address as well as an FCODN for Netscaler Gateway as well as for Mobile Device Management Server. So, by clicking on Continue, it will now lead us to the first question, our IP address. In my case, it's a uh, DMZ environment uh, and my demo lab. So this is dot ninety three, and let's give it a proper name: V server underline and the fully qualified domain name of the machine. And you can see it's Xen Mobile M A M for Mobile Application Management. The port four four three cannot be changed. Then let's choose a certificate. I already installed this before, continue. Now it asks us for our Active Directory authentication. I also already used the existing one I have in there, continue. And now it asks us for our mobile application management uh, address. This is uh, not the mobile application management, it is the fully qualified domain name again of our mobile device management server. I explain later to you why. What we use here is the load balancing IP address internal for our access to mobile device management servers. So this is the internal IP address 10, 100, 2 and 50, which will be used for a load balancing V server. It then creates well, by using port 8443 the connection. So continue. There is a little mistake in the wizard, don't mention it, just click OK. And this, this is also SSL v server, it asks us now to use a certificate. OK, I also prepared for this case a certificate, just choose it. And then we need to continue this. This v server is using SSL. And the difference now, it is asking us here for mobile device management IP address. Just enter this one. And after we confirm this one, he now asks us for load balancing for the mobile device management server. And the difference I was talking about is for this V server we are creating now again with our DMZ IP address is that this one is using an SSL tunnel. So here we won't have to, to provide a certificate. So let's give this one also a proper name, vServer, load balancing and the fully qualified domain name, continue. I don't enter here uh, a port number at the end because as you can see here now, it will create two load balancing vServers, one with port 443 and one with port 8443 for the registration. So now we created already our vServers, so you can see a Netscaler gateway was created with our DMZ IP address and the Xen Mobile load balancing vServer was created by using also our DMZ address. You can have a look at this in traffic management, load balancing and virtual servers. In here you can see now our Xen Mobile mobile application management vServer using SSL. This was the reason why we provided a certificate and our two load balancing vServers by using SSL bridges. The Xen Mobile wizard creates a record, a DNS record, kind of DNS poisoning himself. You can see Xen Mobile uh, address here, my, my lab address, is now redirected to the internal IP address. So as soon as the Netscaler here with the, with the uh, vServer will contact the fully qualified domain name, the external one, it will be then redirected to the internal IP. So let's have a look at what's configured here. In our secure ticket author, in our STA, you now see he is contacting the internal address. If there would not be this redirected, this would be red. 
Then we have some policies. Let's have a look at actions. You can see in here published applications, and he is then redirecting our Xen Mobile uh, Works Home client software to the address, which is then the appliance in the background. For the web based uh, authentication, we are using and published application again the same address, but at the end you see Citrix slash store web. This address is at the moment a little buggy. It ends up in an uh, error message in an error 404. This is error by design at the moment. Uh, I guess we will see some more fixes in the near future. So let's close this and we're done in here. Let's swap to our Xen Mobile Management Appliance on port 4443. Let's log in with my admin. Because now we need to tell our Xen Mobile Device Management Server that there is a Netscaler. So if you have a look in Configuration and Settings and more, you will see Netscaler Gateway. In here we tell him which is the address he has to be uh, to get in contact to. So first of all you need the name, Netscaler. The name is just for you, nobody else sees this one. No spaces in the name is also required, otherwise it won't accept the name. So just let this be gone. And the external address now, which the works home client on your mobile device will then be connecting to, is the fully qualified domain name, the external name. I copy this, I'm a kind of lazy admin, set as default, and now we add again the callback URL, which is the same address, and the virtual IP from internal to our mobile device management, so it is kind of a trust relationship that he knows and trusts this connection. So let's save this. And after we configure this, let's have a look on our mobile device, what's happening now. So just enter the fully qualified domain name, in my case it's xenmobile.gmirs, which is just my lab name, so this is only working with Wi-Fi connections, register, yes. I'm using my super secret administrator and Citrix123 account, as it's just a lab. Confirm this. Now Works is contacting our mobile device management, which is now presenting the CA, our certificate authority. We trust now our certificate authority. Confirm. Now the device is going to be registered. For this it asks us to install the profile services and then the iPhone is warning us that there will be a mobile device management service. Yes, trust. And by the way, this is uh, usual for all the mobile device management solutions out there. This is not Xen Mobile specific. So and after this, Works is now contacting our Netscaler who is now also authenticating us and then forwarding our message to the load balancing v server for mobile application management which is now forwarding this to our server. Okay, so let's have a look at store. There aren't any apps yet but just to show you connection is possible and voila we are in here. Thumbs up, everything done. So if I have a look in my dashboard I now see MDM red because I have a jailbroken device just for demo purposes and mobile application management running. This device can now be managed as well. Okay, what have we done? What's happening when I'm connecting? First of all, my mobile device with works goes and contacts uh, xenmobile.gmirs, which is my lab fully qualified domain name to contact mobile device management. This is then an SSL bridge, also known as SSL tunnel, which is co uh, sent to the back to our Xen Mobile 10 virtual appliance. This virtual appliance then tells in the second step, which you can see green on the right top, uh, to our works software on the mobile device. Now please go to mobile application management. This is the fully qualified domain name. As soon as it reaches this address on our works, works will start and build up the connection on, uh, uh, in, on point 3, which you can see on, on the bottom, to xenmobilemam.gmirs, which is our Netscaler, who is then checking the user credentials at Active Directory and then forwarding the traffic to our mobile application management 
load balancing V server. The reason for the load balancing V server is also that it has uh, kind of a checking is this already a pr uh, existing connection, is it a new connection or whatever and then forwards the traffic to our virtual appliance again to the internal network. So this is all to say about uh, for this quick and uh, fast intro. Uh, if you need more information and uh, want to get more knowledge about uh, what is needed for sizing, what is needed for connection, how does it work with the certificates, I can only recommend you very very strongly to attend the Xen Mobile training which should be available very shortly. Otherwise the Citrix support forums as well as the YouTube channel from me are a good help. Just ask your questions and I try to help you. Hope this video helps you a lot. Have a good day and thank you.